Hi guys, I'm Boxing USA one two three four here, doing a video um, of just kind of a quick analysis of A Sad of Thunder by Ray Bradbury. It's a great book, um, or just a great story. Really, it's not really a whole book. Um, this one's in the uh, Holt McDougal literature, grade nine. Um, so what it is is it's about a guy named Eccles. And he's in the year 2055, and he wants to travel back in time to kill Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, uh, there's a company, uh, and they let you travel back in time to go to to where you want. The company's called Time Safari Incorporated. You go back, uh, you get to shoot whatever you want. Um, if you're going to have a test on this, which you probably will... Uh, at first, you know, on the sign outside says Time Safari Incorporated, safaris to anywhere, to any year in the past. You name the animal, we take you there, you shoot it. He's really nervous, and at the beginning, you know, he starts asking, uh, "Is am I going to get out alive? Is it guaranteed? They say nothing's guaranteed, you know, you can't, we can't tell you if you're going to get out alive or not because we, we don't know, uh, which is kind of foreshadowing, you know, that he might not get out alive, um. Uh, he has to pay ten thousand dollars to to go, and uh, if he if he does anything he's not supposed to, which is like shoot something he's not supposed to, or step somewhere he's not supposed to, he uh, he has to pay another ten thousand dollars. And there's also government action. Um. So he he decides yes he does want to go back in time. Uh, he he pays him the ten thousand dollars, and. Um, during this time, he's talking to the guy at the front of the desk, and um, a, a man was just elected president a few days prior to this, and his name is Keith. The other guy's name is Doshur, and Doshur is a dictator, and um, he's really expressing his opinion on how much he's, he's so excited that Keith won, and uh, the people at Time Safari also start talking about how, you know, they... Um, they um, ha have had a lot of people calling in saying that they, like half joking, saying they wanted to go back to a different time, which was actually uh, the most popular one. It was 1492. People were asking to go back if uh, Dushishir won, or Dushishir, or however you pronounce his name. Um, so anyway, he goes back in time. Um, he goes back 60 million, 2,055 years. Um, he lands and um, when he gets there he kind of asks them you know uh, can, where can I walk um, and they say just uh, there's this metal path that's six inches above the ground you don't want to get off the metal path because if you step on anything it could alter the future and he goes into this uh, the guy who's running it goes into this big thing about um, uh, like if you kill the mouse you could kill Rome pretty much you know it's, it, it, and he explains in detail, you know, how things work down the line. You kill a mouse here, then the animal that was going to eat that mouse, well, he starves, and uh, all those mouse's children die. So any effect those mouse's, those m mice's children have, uh, they, they don't, they don't, they don't really have that effect anymore, you know. So it, it can change a lot of things. So anyway, he's, uh... He's back in time, and he's uh, looking for a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And what he, and what uh, the guy who's running it tells him is, or the guy who's leading the safari tells him is that there's a, uh, 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 I'm trying to remember what, uh, what I was about to say. He tells him that uh, you know that, that that the mouse thing. He also says that uh, if if you shoot. A uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex or any other creature, it has to be, uh, it has to be within two minutes of death anyway, and it has to pretty much die in the same place. And so uh, these these ones actually have a red mark on them, and uh, they have this uh, this red mark that they painted onto them when they went back in time the first time to see when they died. So they had this T Rex that people keep coming back and killing. Now, he gets into later, which is going to be a big part because I did already take the test on it. He gets into later how um, 
how that they cannot meet each other in time. Like um, it, it, uh, Eccles can't meet Eccles when he's uh, if he comes back twice because that's against the rules of time and space. So he can never meet himself. So uh, you know that's that's uh, that's those pages. Then um, he gets really nervous, and he uh, they they find the T Rex, and they say, "Don't spook it. You know, it will try and bite you if, uh, and it will try and eat you if if it sees you." And he's really he's really quiet, and he really tries to stay quiet, but it sees him move and starts chasing after him. He gets off the path, and he uh, he kills it, and uh, they all kill it, and everything was fine. They took their picture beside it and stuff, but when they got back to the time machine. They realized that he had a um, he had a butterfly on his on his boot, and um, well, actually they they get back to the time machine and all he has is they see is the moss on his boot. And they realize he got off the path, so he told him the man who was running the safari told him that he was going to shoot him if uh, or leave him back in time um, if if it you know it well. Pretty much that, you know, he's just going to leave him back in time. If he gets on, he's going to shoot him. So he goes out, and, and he tells him that if you can dig the bullets out of the dinosaur, we'll take you back, but there's no guarantee I'm not going to shoot you. So he digs the dinosaurs, uh, he digs the bullets out of the dinosaur with a knife and comes back, and they go into the future. And when they get to the future, uh, where's it at? There's the butterfly. Um, it when they get to the future, he realizes that he killed a butterfly, and we don't know how, but somehow that killing of that butterfly affected his um, uh, affected something really bad. And Duster, or however you say his name, or Duster, or something, he ended up winning. He ended up winning the election. And uh, also outside, I'll let you read how it's written because it's written like it says time with a Y. Safari Incorporated, or Safari Incorporated, Safari's to any year in the past, ye name the animal, we take you there, you shoot it. Now you're probably wondering why this book is called The Sound of Thunder. Well, at the end, he realizes that he screwed up, he stepped on the butterfly, time is different now, and he says at the very end, he says, uh, he did not move. Eyes shut. He waited, shivering. He heard Travis breathe loud in the room. He heard Travis shift his rifle, click the safety catch, and raise the weapon. There was a sound of thunder. So that's pretty much the story. It's a great story. You know, I read it a couple of times over. It's really good. Um, you're probably going to have a test on it pretty soon if you're in ninth grade English. So um, just make sure to study this video a couple of times. There's a lot more information in the book if you want to read it, and I highly recommend you. You read the story because it's fantastic. That's one of the main reasons I made.